uswaterrockets.com water rocket research and development video pressure testing the slip joint bottle splice in one of our previous videos we presented a tutorial showing how to easily join multiple bottles together to create very large water rockets using our slip joint splicing technique we also have a tutorial on our website which shows the procedure with detailed descriptions and photos this video demonstrates the performance testing we conducted on a pair of 1.5 liter seltzer bottles joined with this technique. For the test, we purchased a 200 psi pressure gauge and mounted it on a hose so that it could be positioned in view of the camera to record the pressure during the test. We filled our splice test subject with water to reduce the potential energy contained within the bottles should they fail during the test. We then slowly pressurized the test subject to determine the point at which the splice would fail. This video has been accelerated eight times to skip the dull portion. The pressure gauge maxed out at 200 psi shortly before the bottle failed. Analysis of the high speed video shows that the bottle failed and the splice held. The bottle failure occurs at the bottom end. The splice appears to be completely intact even after the failure of the bottle. Post-mortem examination shows that the splice is fully intact and held over 200 psi. If you enjoyed this video, click on one of the other videos below to learn more about water rockets. We have a tutorial to show how to make the slip joint splice shown in this video. You can see how to make the innovative split collar cable tie launcher or you can learn how to easily build our axial parachute deploy system. Thanks for watching.